Japanese people have very big heads because we are all descendants of Martians. <laughs> That's why we are so clever in high technology. My next guest has a very big head too, but he doesn't come from Japan nor Mars. He comes from another planet called Timpari. <laughs> You, you seem to be so popular. Why, why do you think you're so popular? Well, I mean, I do lectures in this area on uh, things like shopping, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm very useful to the Manchester public, you know what I mean? Because I know everything about everything. Right. <laughs> I've also bought a fantastic guest. Oh. Right, watch me lips. Let me out! <laughs> oh, blimey, I wonder who said that. Should they have a look in this suitcase? Yeah! Yes! It is the one and only Little Frank. Yeah. Hello, Little Frank. How are you? Oh, I'm very well, actually. <laughs> I mean, oh, you can have it as Mr. Spock. <laughs> hey, do you know about Japanese? You do, don't you? What does this say? <laughs> I, I bought this model kit, Japanese. Is it made in Japan? But I can't understand the instructions. Can you help me with it afterwards? What's that say there? What's it, that? It's Penelope, Kokusai Kyujotai Thunderbird, Penelope Go. Lady Penelope, you mean? Yeah. Brilliant. Right, well, we'll make that up today. But... <laughs> Shut up, little frat. Can, can, uh, can I introduce my little Kazuko? Can you what? Can, can I introduce my little Kazuko here? Oh, yes. Go on, you do the voice. This... This is my venture quest act, you see. But I always get confused between no, us. No, 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 no. Nobody's lips are supposed to move. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> Hello, little Frank. I'm not doing it. You've got to do it. <laughs> if you don't tell the line, there'll be big trouble when we get on. <laughs> oh, but... You see how you just swept along? Look, he's only cardboard. <laughs> Hello, little Japanese, little frog. I, I think this is a bit too symbolic because Japanese brain is taking over English body. It's hey. a bit too symbolic, which is happening now. <laughs> now let's go into the adult conversation, Frank, shall I'm we? I'm dead big in Hongi Kong, you know. Mm -hmm. I got £12.53 uh, for love poem for Kylie, royalties. <laughs> oh, yes, they like me. But I'd just like to announce that I am not having an affair with Kylie Minogue, no matter what you might say. What? Even though she has got fantastic low hair. Do you, do you, you like another pop stars, don't you like others, apart from Kylie Minogue? Oh, I heard, yes, I like you Paul, well, I look a bit like Paul McCartney, don't yeah, I? Yeah, you like, yeah. <laughs> Except, uh, well, it's like everyone in show business has a gimmick, don't they? I mean, it's like Gary Glitter has his glitter. Um, I've got me fantastic pink tie. <laughs> And Paul McCartney has Linda, don't he? I heard you like football. Is it true? Oh, the Robins. Oh, Robins. Says me. A little friend. Oh, the Red, red Robins are Bob, 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 it says me. What? You know they're not. They're really not. Wait. Very good. I know I'll be Charlton. Nobby Charlton. Have what you seen him? He's got like no hair and he combs it over. <laughs> what games do you have in Japan? Do you have Twister? We we write we we write poems and we compose now and then operatic music. Those things we do. You don't have it's monopoly. Pastime, eh? You don't have monopoly. Monopoly? No, we actually do it rather than on a game. Oh dear. <laughs> 
Because that's a, that's a stupid game, isn't it, Monopoly? Because yeah. who goes to London in a dog, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Your joke is going down very well with our film crew. <laughs> now, yeah, it's like a drop. Can you see me? Yeah, right. Of course I can see you. Can right. you see me? <laughs> yeah, uh, now you're going to sing a song, aren't you? Oh, yes, I'm going to sing a fantastic song. Actually. What did you, what did you choose? Um, I chose Summertime Blues because uh, it's summer, and I've got a blue shirt on. Great. So now, Frank, before Frank's side bottom of the summertime blues, we are going to have a half-time break. By working all day, just trying to raise a pound. Well, my boss said to me, Frank, you've got to work late. I said, I can't actually, boss. I'm doing shopping for me, but sometimes I wonder what I'm going to do, because there isn't a cure for the tipply blues. Sometimes I wonder what I'm going to do Cos there isn't a cure for the tipply cyan Well, I sent little Frank to get me a visa He came back an hour later with a pepperoni pizza I said, you stupid, stupid Put some cardboard. Sometimes I wonder what I'm going to do, cos there isn't a cure for the tipply blues. You know there's not, there's really not. Tipply blues, tipply reds, tipply greens, tipply magenta. You know there's not, there's really not. In Japan, we have a style of poem called haiku, 17 syllables poems, very short and profound, like myself. So I naturally think all those Western poems are much too long, much too uneconomical. Why? Today, my geisha Kamra has found a poet from Manchester among Mancunian club members. So let me ask why. Mr. John Cooper Clark! Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. Hello. Um, you know haiku, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Do, yeah. do you like haiku? Yeah, I do. Very economical. Poem of a 17 syllable discipline, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sh uh, shall I tell you my favorite yeah, one? Yeah, you do one, yeah. Furuike akawazu tobikomu ike no oto. Which means, all the pond, the sound of frog jumping in. It's a poem. Right. 17 syllable discipline, right? Yeah. Johnny Clark's first of many, I'm sure, haiku, write this. <laughs> to convey one's mood in 17 syllables is very difficult. <laughs> 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 Most of the haikus, oh, I yeah, think it's so pulse, conceptual. Yeah. It's <laughs> you are tall and profound. Thank you. I, yeah. I approve nice. of your existence. You appeared with a lot of punk bands in the past in Manchester, didn't you? Right. How did it happen? Like, 
Well, they needed somebody in while they changed the amplifier around, the <laughs> equipment around and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So you had a lot of roadies in a Yeah, well, there was no trouble to put on, you know. Yeah, do, do, but isn't it costly? Like, isn't it very expensive didn't to have that? Didn't cost me anything, no. no. Really? No, no. Sometimes I got paid. You look like a bit of tall version of Dylan. It's Dylan, Bob, Bob Dylan, with L, Bob right. Dylan. <laughs> Is he a hero? One of many, you know, alongside Batman, Roy Rogers, Robin Hood, you know, <laughs> Sir Lancelot. But you, 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 like, kind of try to identify yourself with Bob Dylan in the past, not, not now. But. No, not particularly. I always wanted to look like Elvis. <laughs> Who is Elvis? I'm going to have to have a long talk with you. <laughs> uh, you come from uh, Salford, not Manchester itself. Near enough, though, yeah. What's the difference between... This town called Salford. I think it's to do with sides of the River Irwell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the laws are the same, you know. The same. <laughs> yeah. Great. Very yeah, profound again. Uh, so I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a Salford local hero called Jimmy Savile. Deep guy. Yeah. Well, right. there's years ago. <laughs> Quite rightly said. Doing. Didn't quite make the chops, but did very nicely for him. <laughs> he spoke really slowly to me. Give over, really. <laughs> yeah. Give over, uh, you know, get away. <laughs> get, get the hell out of here, you know. <laughs> How did you feel about those sugar pop commercials? Do you eat, really, sugar pops for breakfast? Oh, I was you... right behind that product, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, do you, so you really believe in the product? Oh, I, I wouldn't get anybody to eat something I wouldn't have myself, you know. <laughs> Honest, guys. <laughs> uh, now you're going to sing a song for us, isn't it? Like, like, That's uh, right. You, what did you choose? Money. <laughs> Thank you very much. And now, 
We'd like to sing an anthem for your town, your city, Manchester. And um, please, could you stand up and come forward? I can sing it.